I tire of this endless battle. War constantly rips through the valleys beneath my mountains, and I detest it. Yet you bring even more battle here to my keep. Why? Is it still this shard of the world glacier that you pursue? Yes, but we believe the shard you carry has changed. Changed? Yes, it has changed. Whatever the Atlanteans did to it, it is vastly more powerful now than it was. We fear that the change to the shard was not caused by Atlanteans, but instead is the same change that occurred to other artifacts across the land. We fear that it has become an aspect of the apocalypse, and that its every use brings the land closer to the day it is shattered. That cannot be. I have brought winter down from the mountains and frozen the wars in place. Peace reigns now over the entire area, not war. How can Apocalypse be served by that? While it is true that the war is stopped for a time, the armies will soon run low on supplies. When that happens, the fighting between forces will become fiercer than ever as they struggle for their very survival. And this cold is unnatural, disrupting the order of the land. Such disruption is the very essence of chaos. The dragon feeds upon it. No. No! No, I say! I cannot be an agent of the shattering! I will not be! I am part of the land! I am not its betrayer! You nearly had me convinced, but this last lie is your worst! I am Mistral! I am Winter! It is not possible that I could be used to destroy the land! It is you that will be destroyed instead! For your lies!
I admit it. You are right. I am being used by this aspect that was once my most valued possession. I must destroy it. 
but I know not how. Winter Lord, we suggest that you give it over to our care. You? Why you? We are acting as agents for the Solonavi, and we strive to stop the shattering from occurring. We have found four of the five aspects, and only this one remains. Once we have it, we will have what we need to face the dragon in order to save the land. So you had to fight me in order to gain this bauble? To stop the dragon and save us all? My shame is indeed great. You had no way of knowing, Lord Mistral. True, true. Well, the shard, uh, aspect, is yours now. I ask only that if you stop the dragon, please return the shard to me. It has been mine for countless years, and I would not part with it. If it can be done, we will do it. In that case, we are at peace. I will move my keep back up into the mountains, and loosen my control of the winter here, so that the natural order may resume once again. While the cold lasts, I will be watching your progress. If you are in need, I will send my minions to assist you. That is more than we had hoped. With luck, such assistance will not be needed. Still, my debt to you for stopping me from aiding the Shattering is real, and I will repay you as I may. Please, there are chests of trinkets that I have collected over the years in the room over there. Take what you wish. I have no need for them. You may leave through my personal exit when you are ready. My minions will no longer oppose you, and we will probably never meet again. Good luck to you. I leave to my mountains at once, and will return for my keep at a later date.
Is there something I can get for you? Well met, heroes. Since we are seeing some of the last elves return to our camp, I have to assume that you have done well in your struggle. The situation here is grim. The Atlanteans counterattacked us from the sky using their airborne skiffs. They brought golems and warriors landing inside the central hangar of the ship through a seal. There are scores of them there now, and they've activated some of the Citadel's defenses. Our numbers here are too few for a counterattack, but I have sent falcons northward to summon reinforcements. Until aid arrives, however, all we can do is defend this camp and wait. The Solanavi mentioned you would most likely wish to go up to the Citadel anyway. It is no matter to me how you wish to die is your own concern. You may go. But do not lead the Atlanteans back to this camp. If you do, I'll kill you myself before they overwhelm us. It's good, good to see, see you again, old sworn. Matters here have come to a head, and time's time is growing short. short. What news have you? We now possess all five aspects. The aspect of famine was recovered from Mistral only a short while ago. Excellent work. Every indicator we can find points to the dragon being on the cusp of maturity. And with such maturity comes the shattering. It must be stopped. But how? You said yourself the Virgra Divide is inaccessible, and Mistral implied that he destroyed the Sky Citadel. It may never fly again. That is true, but much, much has happened while you struggled against Mistral. The elves here were forced to retreat when an overwhelming force of Atlanteans arrived to recover their Citadel. But if the Citadel is crawling with Atlanteans, then the possibility of using it to cross into the Divide is sealed, isn't it? The Citadel is so huge that odds were high it could never be refloated anyway. However, the Atlanteans may have supplied us with a solution. When they came to retake their Citadel, they came in smaller sky skips, flying down from above to ambush the defending elves. So, if we can take a skiff or two intact, they might suffice for our passage across the Divide. Precisely. Commander Darkmoon can inform you more fully of the Atlanteans' attack and the forces you will face there. But I believe those skiffs are our best hope at this point. What about after the skiffs? What then? We are still working on that. Be patient. As you work to find a way to the Divide, I will work to find a way to defeat the Dragon once we are there. Be true. Well, if we can capture one of the skiffs, I should be able to fly it. When we dwarves were still in chains, the Atlanteans used their skiffs to haul Magestone away from the mines. I've had to repair many of them, and can certainly puzzle out its controls. Very good, Janus. Now to business. Speak with Commander Darkmoon and find a way to capture a skiff. I will meet you with more information when you are done.